the 2018 Honda Accord sedan was just revealed to the world and it has been completely overhauled. This perennially popular midsize offering gains turbocharged engines, a more rigid structure, an advanced 10-speed automatic gearbox, and even a physical volume knob for the audio system. Talk about progress. Likewise, this car's cargo hold is larger, clocking in at nearly 17 cubic feet, likely a best-in-class figure. Take that, Camry. Oh yeah, sorry fans of affordable stylish coupes, this new generation Accord spells the end of the Accord Coupe. Providing up to 32% greater rigidity than the outgoing model, more than 54% of the new Accord's structure is comprised of high-strength steel. This should improve both refinement and safety, not that today's car is lacking in either of these areas. Still, depending on variant, overall weight is down by up to 176 pounds, an impressive figure for a vehicle that's not that large. Power to the people. Further cutting consumption is a pair of downsized, turbocharged engines. Both feature direct fuel injection and are matched to advanced transmissions. The base engine is a 1.5-liter unit that's rated at 192, both horsepower and pound-to-foot of torque. For drivers who want more, you can also get a 2.0-liter engine. Sharing components with the Civic Type R's power plant, it delivers a stout 252 ponies and 273 units of twist. Honda is projecting best-in-class fuel economy and performance figures. As for gearboxes, Honda is throwing a major bone to driving enthusiasts because a six-speed manual is available with either engine, as unpopular as it will probably be. For other motorists, the 1.5-liter unit can also be had with a CVT, while its larger sibling is offered with a 10-speed automatic, a world-first innovation for a front-wheel drive car. For ultra-thrifty motoring, a hybrid version of the Accord will also be offered. Its drivetrain is centered around a 2.0-liter Atkinson cycle engine that achieves 40% thermal efficiency, the best of any mass-produced Honda engine. It's augmented by a pair of electric motors that were developed in-house. Interestingly, they use magnets that contain no heavy, rare earth metals, 